Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jack is and it's Wolfman for video back on my GM. And it's definitely been a while, but right now I'm gonna show you guys uh the starting lineup we have. Trey Burke, Bradley Beal, Carmelo, Porzingis, and Frank Kaminsky. Now keep in note, as you see, our bench has Aaron Aflalo, CJ McCollum, Thomas Robinson, uh Shane Larkin. But and Shane Larkin should be actually Shane Larkin should be right here. And the lineup should be yeah, like this. And yeah, we right now we are missing uh whatchamacallit? We're still missing Hassan Whiteside. He's still injured with an injury. He has like one to two more weeks left. But right now we are on a four-game winning streak. We beat four games. Uh we beat the Nuggets, the Hawks, the Nets, and the Pistons, albeit not that hard teams. And this is what's kind of similar to the Knicks in real life right now. We didn't make any trade line. Uh, or NBA trade deadline moves this year in real life but the Knicks take on the Nets tonight and uh throughout the way through the rest of the season we kind of have a kind of simple schedule it's not that difficult uh not too crazy so we have a chance to make the playoffs and actually right now uh I'm we are in the playoffs as of right now we are the eighth seed in the conference 19 of 21 our last 10 games were 8 and 2 so we've definitely been on a roll after I gave Carmelo that pep top the team's been doing better as you can see our first month wasn't that great but since then we've been very uh, very great like in the last 10 games like I said before 8 and 8 and 2 phenomenal now we take on the Bucks but we've been doing all this without Hassan Whiteside and uh, we did get Bradley Beal from the trade a few uh, for trading Kobe Bryant a few weeks back but this team's been working out man this team is getting the chemistry going uh like so now i'm in that kind of blake griffin situation to where it's like do we trade his song why not maybe get a better piece maybe get a better point guard i mean trey burke's been nice but i don't know if he's the future he does have a pretty oh you know decent contract frank kaminsky might be another guy we trade i mean right now we don't really have any contract talks we already know stephen adams won't be signed so he probably will get traded so we can get more minutes for Lavoy Allen. So real quick, let's see what we can get for Steven Adams. Probably not that much, but Hassan Whiteside really has to find his way back into the line. We've been playing great without him with uh, Porzingis at the power forward position and then Frank Kaminsky at the center position. It's really been opening up the floor because you got shooters in almost uh, the whole front court. Carmelo, Porzingis, and, and freaking... Kaminsky, that's a that's a tough shooting score to stop. So right here we get Courtney Lee, but we have to give up Thomas Robinson, and I'm not trying to do that. Uh, other trades we could do. Clear Anthony Early as a one-year deal. We don't want that. Marcus Morris was not that bad, but we always got to give up Thomas Robinson. I'm not trying to give up Thomas Robinson. Kevin Seven, we also get a first-round pick back, but he's he has a contract, so I don't, I don't want that contract. Jose Calderon, and look at that, he still has a one-year deal for 7.7 .7 million, man. I really want the Knicks to trade Carter one in real life, man, because he doesn't play any defense. He's cool and all, but he's not for our team. He needs to go to a different team. And yeah, I don't think there's really any trade we could do that gets Steven Adams off the team. We could definitely check again, but it looks like right now, Hassan Whiteside might be the guy to trade, man. I mean, yo, if we can get a, a great point guard, or maybe even a, another big man that can actually put the ball in the hole, maybe another center. Even though we do got Porzingis, so I guess we could live with someone like uh, Hassan Whiteside. But so far, we've been, like like I said, we've been winning great. Let's see if we can just sim through a couple more games uh, and see how it goes. And the NBA trade down deadline this year, it was kind of dead. Uh, I wasn't expecting too, many, too much things to happen. But, you know, everyone's kind of in that rebuilding phase for some reason. You see the Bulls, they were trying to trade Paul Gasol. And Paul Gasol didn't want to be traded, but the Bulls were trying to trade him. Of course, the Bulls would be better with Paul Gasol. But with Jimmy Butler going down for like two to three weeks, Joakim Noah's out for the season. It's it's crazy, man. I mean, it, it's really getting crazy to see what's going on. And uh, the Cavaliers traded for Shading Fry. Not that big of a move, but uh, that's going to help him out a little bit, I suppose. Uh, Anderson Vesha hasn't been the same after that Achilles injury. But hopefully the Cavs do get better. I mean, last night, the, the Cavs versus the Bulls game, the Cavs just dominated, man. They looked really good. And as we're going to OT against the Utah Jazz, we beat them. Steven Adams is unhappy. But you know what? You know the deal, Steven Adams. And uh, let me see if this guy... 
Hassan Whiteside is back. And no, he's still not back. This dude will never come back. He's been out for like one to two weeks, it said, and he's still not coming back. I want to get Hassan Whiteside back. And uh, will we be able to beat the, the mask, uh, the freaking thing? Why is Carmelo Anthony? Oh, he's being overworked at training. All right, I see, I see what he's mean. All right, so let me just lower the trading intensity. And uh, apparently Bradley Beal wanted the trading intensity to be increased. So I increased it for the home games and stuff like that. But now Carmelo wants to be wants it to be decreased. So somehow I guess I'm going to change it back to high. Uh, I don't even understand why the workload has to be very high. I think high is good enough. But Bradley Beal wanted it to be very high. Hopefully once we simulate through these games. Okay, well here we got Patty Mills. I don't want Patty Mills. And we beat the Raptors. We should be able to beat the Magic. They're not that difficult of a team. And more saving, more loading screens going. But let me know in the comment section what you think about the trailer. Now. I mean, it's usually dead. And why are we making game plans for Nikola Vucevic? What? Yo, is he a 90 overall or something? And we did lose to the Magic. Wow. Low scoring affair right there. But the NBA trade deadline is pretty dead. I mean, Jeff Green to the Clippers was another noble move. Lance Stevenson getting out of the team was, uh, you know, going to the, what is it, Grizzlies? The Grizzlies were trying to trade Mike Conley for Reggie Jackson, too. And I think in all of the things, the Pistons have made the most trades and the most moves. They're really trying to, uh, you know, get to the thing. And Mo Carmelo Anthony's morale dropped again? Yo, Melo's morale has always been terrible. What is going on? I, I actually failed that goal. I'm done. I'm done. But anyways, I think... And we lost to the Sixers, too. But let's see. Let's see if this guy is actually back. Yes, the song right side's finally back. Carmelo Anthony's angry. We'll figure it out in the next video. But real quick, let's see what we can get for a song white side. Because now that we got a song white side back, we gotta get him back into the lineup. But maybe we don't need him. Maybe we don't need white side. Let's see what we can. Let's search the market for white side. That's a bad trade. This is a bad trade. Bad trade, bad trade, bad trade. Start of my, we don't want that bum again. Really? They're not offering anything good for Dwight. I'm um, not, not Dwight. Hassan Whiteside. Really? Let's try this one more time. You gotta give me better trades than this. This guy is Hassan Whiteside for crying out loud. Only 27 years old. He's got the rebound. He got the defense. And again, we're not getting any trades. Oh, what is this? 68 overall. Wow, these trades are crazy. Crazy trades for Train Fighter. But anyways, YouTube, leave a like for the next MyGM episode. For now, I'm out. Peace.